Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and um, something good actually happened. <laughs> something in the mainstream American comic book industry improved instead of getting worse. I'm in complete shock before I start First Kill Graphic Novel. So um, I was doing a video about this uh, Wildstorm 30th anniversary special, and it was because I was very frustrated. I bought it on Kindle. And uh, I couldn't read it. I've done other videos throughout the year demonstrating how unreadable the Kindle reading experience is. It would absolutely minimize and postage stamp comics that you paid for that are just as expensive as the physical comics. There's no discount for digital comics. So what I would do is I would just read the pirate version. And when I would do a review, I would show like, hey... Here's Kindle to prove I paid for it. And here's the pirate site where I read the comics because they're unreadable on Kindle. So I've been doing that for, I think, most of this year. But then the war in Ukraine happened. And I swear that the guys who run the pirate sites... Now, some people are saying, oh, these are scanned by American comic shop owners. Yeah, they're probably scanned by them. But then they are sent to Russians who run these sites. And just because it has dot .li for, what is that, Lithuania, Liberia, it's Russians. And I know it's Russians because when the war stepped up, it went from being just hours after the comics were released that they would be on the pirate sites to days to weeks. And sometimes they never upload. Last year, every single new comic was uploaded within a week of coming out. The most popular were the fastest. The most popular Batman would be up a few hours later. It would be up by like lunch. But this Wildstorm anniversary special, I had to wait like four weeks. And then when it popped up, you can see the uh, aspect ratio is all off. They look like chibi versions of the characters. The resolution is low. I mean, look at that pixelation on the lettering. And worst of all, the pages aren't in order. You got this J. Scott Campbell Gen 13 story. You get one page and then you're in the John Boy Myers story with Zealot. And you're like, what the fuck's going on? Then you get a pinup. Then you get the credits. <laughs> like, what is this? You can't even read this story. So this is the main pirate site I go to. But I was going to all the other ones. A couple of them corrected the pages out of order issue. But all of them were low res. And then I went to go return the thing on Kindle and it was outside of the time parameters. So I go to do a video about how digital is unreadable. And then something amazing happened. I'm like, okay, two pages at a time, that's fine. That, the two pages at a time always worked. But what used to happen is you would click on a panel like this and it would, it would show it like only in this little area right here and it would waste the whole screen. But they fixed it. They brought back guided view. It's right up there. You can toggle it on and off here or you can just click on the panel. I can actually read the comics that I paid for in high res. So I went to the Comixology website and yeah, I guess they fixed it like a week ago. They're very proud of it too. They're like, we've got some news. We've been hard at work rebuilding the Comixology guided view experience on the Kindle web reader. And then they show you the button to click that I just showed you. I'm kind of in shock. I'm not used to things getting better. Now, in this case, getting better just goes back to last known good. It just repairs something that they broke. But all I've ever seen for five years is people break things through maliciousness and incompetence. I did this really downer video the other day. I deleted it because it just would have bummed out everyone. But I was describing the industry as a whale fall. When a whale dies in the ocean, not beached, you know, it falls to the bottom of the ocean and then it is feasted upon by progressively lower species on the evolutionary scale. You know, first it'll be sharks and then It'll work its way down to, at the end, it's literally like ocean bacteria swimming into the cracks and the bones to eat the marrow and the cartilage. 
Like, we don't even have a way to document this industry. Like, how is it an industry if we can't document it? Nobody knows sales anymore. There are no accurate sales figures anywhere. Comic book DB. Just knowing what someone's career is. Oh, sort by chronological. That was my favorite feature. Holy shit. That's gone. There is no way to know what books sell or get a good handle on someone's career. But holy shit, we got one thing back. <laughs> this is... It's, technically, it's not progress. It's just going back to the state it was a year ago. But, oh my gosh, I almost have tears in my eyes. I am not used to this. I am not used to recovering from mistakes from the mainstream comic book industry. I'm not used to it. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, some rare good news <laughs> from the... Uh, Mainstream comic book industry, yes, if you have digital comics you bought on uh, Amazon that you're forced to read through the Kindle app, well, guess what? The Kindle app works now. This story is actually pretty cool. And it's the exact same team. It's Brandon Choi and Jim Lee. I'll probably do a review of this whole book now that I can actually read the thing. Before I go, first kill graphic novel. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.